Up next on JBTV. Hey, I'm Jennifer Benson with the band Ignescent, coming up next on JBTV. I'm calling out to you. Broadcasting from Chicago, this is JBTV. So here we are. This is another brand new edition of JBTV from the heart of the Windy City, downtown Chicago, where music, of course, is always number one. And I'm so happy to have Ignescent. Ignescent. Yes. Jennifer Benson's in with us. And uh, I got to say, I'm so excited to have you on our show and everything. And you have some nice videos. But you have a whole personal story that you put out online. You're like a, a psychiatrist helping people with uh, going through things, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I like to encourage people and, and help them and just... Um, yeah, I just encourage them. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, because that was yeah. such a good story. And how old your daughter now? Uh, my daughter, she's actually, um, she's a teenager right now. Wow. So she, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like time flies so much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. My daughter's like got to be in her 40s now because she was born in 79. So, uh, you know. Oh, okay. Nice. Isn't it amazing how fast they grow up? It's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Time just goes way too fast. And of course, this year has been insane, but things are getting better, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, things are getting yeah. better. <laughs> yeah. So if, uh, tell me about your music and everything. Have you written any scores for movies or anything yet or? Um, yeah, there was actually an independent film that um, I wrote a song to, but it wasn't uh, with a band. It was just with my solo project um, under Jennifer Benson. And um, that was a few years ago. And the song was called Always on My Mind um, by me, by Jennifer Benson. And so, yeah, they, um, they used it in an independent film. So that was kind of cool. What film was that? Yeah. And then actually um, on fire um, by the band, uh, by um, my band, Ignescent, was used um, on the Food Network in a few shows. So that's kind of kind of something that um, we're excited about, too. Well, that's cool, yeah. because uh, I think your music, you know, you're 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 pretty hard rock and roll, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And actually, we have a new EP that we just recorded. It'll probably be out about um, sometime in August. And um, that is definitely going to be the hardest that we've ever done, um, the hardest sounding. Like Jose um, in the band, he's the guitarist. Um, he wrote everything on eight string guitar, um, including our last song, Exodus. And so, yeah, everything is, um, is definitely um, like harder with his influence and and um and i love that kind of style too but it still has that melodic uh vocals to it so it's kind of it's hard to explain it's like harder but then it's not because of the vocals it's kind of like both <laughs> yeah your but, songs uh, are go through uh stories they tell good stories so uh yeah. where did you guys get together how did you start the band i actually started it myself and i um honestly i just put out an ad on craigslist and I saw a few band members on band mix and I contacted them uh, through there. And I, I kind of knew like the sound that I was hoping for. And, um, and so, and then I was wanting someone who played a seven string and an eight string um, as well and um, going for that harder sound. And so, yeah, I just, I contacted Jose um, on band mix and he's like, well, let's try this out. Let's start writing songs together and see how it goes. And um, so we did, and I love the first song um, that we wrote. It's called Save Me, and we actually didn't record it yet, but um, after writing that song with him and then um, and then writing a few others, I'm like, wow, this, we got something here. You know, we have a connection, and um, it's definitely something something that, you know, that, um, that we both enjoy. And, um, and so we also wrote Exodus together and, um, 
and Jeremy Valentine of the band uh, New Year's Day produced that for us. So Jose actually recorded it, and we recorded it in our studio together. And then um, we sent it off to um, Jeremy, and he um, yeah he produced it and added the extra spice to it. And um, he actually was featured on some vocals, and him and Brandon, uh, his brother Brandon Wolf, and they did some um, screams and some background vocals in the song of Exodus. So. That's kind of how that came about. And uh, Well, I think we should see Exodus right here because you made a great video for it. Where did you shoot this at? Yeah, we honestly, we uh, had the opportunity to go to Joliet Prison where the Blues Brothers was uh, filmed. And oh, yeah. Other. Yeah, yeah. And it's only literally like an hour from where we live. So that was kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, we went to the Joliet Prison and shot it there and it was just the coolest experience the crazy experience is like you know learning all the stories of people who are in prison there and it was just it was really cool so yeah well let's see the video right here right now on jbtv as the music continues with ignescent Now you have another great music video, Into the Night. Tell us about that one. Well, that song was produced by Cameron Pierce-Mazel, 
and um, it's um, it's just talking about. Well, it says, "Into the night, you stole my heart and soul. You've come to take control. I was lost, but now I see. You unblinded me." And so that's just um, coming from experience of just all the struggles that I've dealt with, and um, like with anxiety, with depression, um, with um, a, a divorce I went through, and um, just it was. It was really heartbreaking and um, really hard for me to go through all of that. And I know Ian, and I know he'd be okay uh, with me saying this too. Um, he's the bass player for Ignescent, and I know he he struggled with anxiety too. And so um, that's just like a song, just to um, talk about our experiences and and to encourage people that um, God sees you and and He loves you, and He can take that all away and all that pain away into the night and um and yeah and so that's just a song just to encourage people and to inspire people to keep going on and you know and that we love them and and that god sees them and he loves them no matter what they've done no matter what they have gone through and so um yeah so we got to um, i think for the first time i think this yeah this was the first song we worked with cameron pierce mazel and he came um to the chicago area we got to record with him and uh work with him and he's worked with memphis mayfire and all these great bands that i am like uh, big fans of so i was i was kind of a little super excited to work with him we all were and um, so, yeah, so we did that song and then we shot a music video um, at a friend's house. Actually, she let us use her yard and um, her um, house and her area, which was really cool of her um, to let us do that. And we released it um, on Halloween, I believe it was. And so it has kind of that spooky kind of feel to it. If you see in the music video and there's an ax in it and, um, <laughs> and Ian plays that guy with the mask and everything, <laughs> the spooky guy. And then I'm kind of like trying to break out because um, he's captured me and um, I'm trying to break free. And then at the end of the video, I, I break out and I'm running and I'm, you know, and I'm running from the masked crazy guy <laughs> that looks like Jason basically from Friday the 13th. <laughs> but um, so that was like, that was pretty awesome and a super fun video. And we actually, um, we found at their house this like the saw and um, this, um, I don't know what you call it, machine that like sharpens um, the, the axe. And yeah, I, of, that's I, one of the shots you have there. And it's like sharpening it with a grinder, like a grinder you right. got going. Yeah. Right. And it created some sparks and everything. And like, we didn't plan that. That just kind of <laughs> happened because we found that. And the guy, um, Joseph Castleberry, that was shooting the music video, found it. And I'm like, that's such a cool idea. Um, so, yeah, he did that. And um, yeah, and there was that scene where the sparks fly. And it, it kind of um, symbolizes Ignescent, too, because it, the name Ignescent means to spark or ignite. So that's kind of a little thing in there that represents the band name as well. So it was it was kind of cool how it all came together. Isn't it great when stuff like that happens? Yeah, yeah. it is, because it doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> no. Well, here they are, Ignescent on uh, JBTV with Into the Night. You've come to take 
This is your show from downtown Chicago. I got Jennifer Benson in the studio. And uh, another music video that you put out was Calling Out to You. Tell us about that one. Yeah. Um, well, that, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> That's like when I first started the band, honestly. It was always been my dream to work with someone from Skillet because Skillet is um, like someone that I, you know, a band I look up to and I'm highly influenced by them and I love them. And so um, I somehow I found Ben Kasica of, of Skillet, the former lead guitarist. I found his contact information and I contacted him thinking that he would never like call me back, you know, but he did a few days later. And um, I'm like, well, you know, what? would you like to co-write a song with with me, you know, and with us? And um, he said, yes. And I was like about to pass out. <laughs> but he said, yes. <laughs> So um, he's from like the Kenosha, Wisconsin area. So um, yeah, I drove up there and we spent the whole day um, writing that song and writing it together. And it was just like an amazing um, experience. And then um, I had a, um, a dream to uh, work with a producer, at, like after we wrote Home to You, with a producer, uh, Travis Wyrick, and he's in, um, I'm not sure if you know him, but he uh, lives in Knoxville, Tennessee, and he's worked with Dolly Parton, but he's also worked with like rock bands like P.O.D., um, The Letter Black, and um, in um, oh, 10 years as well, and so I really wanted to work with him, and again, I just, um, I just contacted him, and um and I prayed about it, too. I'm like, God, you know, <laughs> I, this is something that is like a, such a dream for me. And, and so I just prayed and um, and he contacted me like pretty much right away. And he's like, can you come and record this song in two weeks? And I'm like, OK, yeah, sure. So I just uh, went out there and we recorded an, an EP um, and which, which was with Calling Out to You, Run to Me, and um, Who We Are, those three songs on the Electrified uh, EP. That's when the songs were a little bit softer um, mm -hmm. at the beginning. So, yeah, we recorded that, and um, I was just, it was just an amazing experience just to work with him and, um, and you know, as a band to get to work with Travis Wyrick. It was just so cool. And um, he just really pushed me vocally. Um, and when I first got there, I'm like, oh, you know, this is going to be fun. And and then he started like really pushing me and like yelling. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So <laughs> I was not expecting that. But uh, but no, he, he's nice. And he really got me to, you know, um, get my vocals to where they should be. And
another uh, video uh what is it life fest talent search what's that all about what was that one? Oh yeah um i've done we some research went... on you so i've been uh... <laughs> you have i see that <laughs> um yeah i think the life fest i think they have uh one with the calling out to you music video and they might have a live video i'm trying to remember I don't know which one you saw, but yeah, we, um, for the first time got booked at Life Fest, but it was a talent contest. It was like a regular booking. Yeah. Yeah. And so we went there and it was on like one of their big stages and, um, we did, um, like, I think it was a set of maybe three or four songs and it was, was, you know, we weren't the only band. Obviously it was a bunch of different bands because it was a competition. But of course you were the best, right? Of course we were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, yeah, we did that and we won. Like I was shocked. I did not expect that. And uh, yeah, we won. And then we got to play again um, the next, um, like a few, I think it was on another stage a few hours later. And then after that, we got booked again. And now we're booked this summer as well. Um, and we got to meet like a bunch of new people there. It was so cool. And like I said, I just, I was not expecting to win, but it was, it was awesome. (laughs) Wow. Well, here it is right now on JBTV Ignescent.
do I'm torn up inside Cause I'm calling out What have you been doing during this pandemic? What, what, what's what been your, your schedule like? I mean, you at home all the time? Did you have tours planned? What what happened during all this? It's been crazy. Like, we were booked um, in Michigan uh, before, you know, the shutdown and everything. And it was supposed to be, I believe, at Lakeview Arena, like our first arena that we were supposed to play. Oh. And then, and it was April of 2020. At the and beginning. COVID, yeah, yeah, COVID hit. And then it was... I was like, I was, I, to be honest, I, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I was heartbroken. I'm going to be honest. And, um, and then we had some, a lot of good shows. Like we were starting to, you know, build more and more and, uh, get more and more shows. And it was just it, it all like everyone, you know, it all went to a halt and it was just kind of shocking. Um, and right before that too, our music video got on NBC, uh, in Florida and just a, a bunch of different places it was uh for into the night so it in the yeah two weeks later that it all hit so um and so but you know my heart breaks for everyone like there's so many different facets of it like the, you know the, the bands are touring the people who are sick the the people who have lost loved ones you know um you know the people who have kids that couldn't go to school for a long time you know there's just i feel like we all have these like little different stories and my heart breaks for literally every single person and because you know we're all going through it and we're all going through different things but it's because of the same reason so it's just it's pretty interesting and crazy i 
and then also me and the band have been recording um, songs and um, and doing that. And we um, record a new EP that we'll be releasing uh, probably in August. So we've been doing a lot of songwriting and um, and recording just to you know keep busy and and um, and yeah, just to keep busy and uh, get more music out there and everything. Yeah. And then we did that music video too. So. Well, see, that's so cool. That that's like a little vacation we've all had, huh? Well, that is true. That is true. <laughs> Did you get your vaccine? Oh, the, yeah, the, the vaccine arm? is out, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, we're all thankful for that. So, yeah, yeah it's awesome. So, where are you so, located now? What city are you in? Uh, I live in the Elgin area. Oh, so you're in Illinois here? I'm in Illinois. Yeah. Ah, yeah. For some reason, I thought you were like in Nashville or someplace, uh, you know, or Hollywood uh, or. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, Chicago area. Wow. Yeah. So you've seen yeah, JBTV no. before then? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm a huge fan of JBTV, so that's why I'm so excited to be on. <laughs> oh, cool. What artist did you see on JBTV that you uh, liked? Uh, I saw Panic at the Disco. Uh-huh. And I, yeah, I love them, and a lot of people I know love them, and they're super, I mean, they're amazing. They're super famous, so I'm like, oh, my gosh. I was... Yeah, when I saw that they were on here, I was kind of freaking out. <laughs> All right, this is a new song. It's called Miss Jackson. Climbing out the back door, didn't leave a mark. No one knows it's you, Miss Jackson. Found another victim, but no one's gonna find Miss Jackson, Jackson, Jackson.
<laughs> All right, now the metal version. Yeah, I love her anyway, boy. I bet we could pull that off. <laughs> All right, <laughs> prove it. I like this guy. <laughs> All right, this is an older song. See, I had to build a studio in my house because of the pandemic. We closed the studio down because I just couldn't <laughs> afford it. It was way expensive. And uh, But I never stopped doing television shows. That's why we're doing this on Zoom, you know. But right. uh, I can do stuff in my house now, so maybe we can do an in-home interview at some point. <laughs> oh, you know? I would love that. That would be awesome. Yeah, because yeah, I'm that's... right downtown, so it's pretty easy, you know. But Oh, you uh, are? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that it's, it's just a labor of love. Music is such an important part of people's lives. And and uh, looking at your personal story and the stories that your music tells, it shows that uh, it's, it's it, it helps people in so many different ways. You know, breaking up, finding new relationships, whatever they're going through. It is sort of the universal, you know, fabric of life music is. And I'm so proud to have you on JVTV. This is real exciting. Oh, thank you. I'm honored to be on here, honestly. I really yeah. appreciate it. She was just six months when he said he was gone after nine years. And now I'm all alone.
plan to definitely uh, start touring again and um, yeah, get this EP out and get a brand new music video out too. Um, hopefully before that. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping. Um, right now we're playing at Rock Fest, you know, unless something changes um, mm -hmm. and it gets canceled. I don't know. But right now we're booked at Rock Fest this summer and we're booked at Life Fest in Wisconsin and Life Fest in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And then uh, we have a show as well with Adelita's Way um, in a little bit. Um, so we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens um, and just kind of go with the flow. But um, yeah, yeah, we would love to, we would love to um, start touring again once that opportunity comes available. <laughs> I stand in the room looking cool and calm, but my heart's a tune. Where I bury what's wrong If I put on a show And a happy face I'm sure they'll never know My pain and disgrace But why are we pretending That we're going so far With this phony masquerading It seems so Skeletons and secrets In my battle wounds and scars So why are we still pretending Who we are You said there's a Brother hypocrite And now we take this place again Where the self-righteous sits Now he's flaunting all his wealth Drenched in power and pride And he thinks no one else Sees the dark inside is a great band. Jennifer, you are so inspirational. Uh, I can't wait to find out more about you. So did you have fun here on JBTV? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Any other bands you'd like to, uh, that have been at our studios that you'd like to hear? Well, I mean, they're all, they're all good, honestly. I'm trying to remember. Um, Too bad you I never came to our studio. Fest. Which um, one? Huh? Too bad you've never come to our studio <laughs> and visited. I know. I know. <laughs> I want to. Well, you know, let me know. We would love to. Like yeah. the whole band would love to come. Yeah. yeah. But I did see a video um, where you guys, I think you were at Riot Fest. Oh, yeah. 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 That was a cool video. Um, but yeah. yeah. Riot I mean, Fest is a great event. You'd be good at Riot Fest, you know. And okay. uh, the last one we went to in 2019, boy, it sounds like 20 years ago, doesn't it? I know it, it feels like it, right? <laughs> it was such an important show, and it was so it was just perfect weather. The bands were great, 
And I had yeah. I said at the time, this is the best riot fest ever. I didn't realize it was going to be the last one. And Aww. then the pandemic hit, you know, and uh, that was the I first because, you know, I just went through stage four cancer and everything and uh, I'm recovering mm -hmm. fine. So that was my oh, first man. public event. And uh, it was just so inspirational that I'm going, the summer of 2020 is going to rock. And right. then came the can you know, the pandemic and it destroyed everything. So we are here. Who you are you watching, watching Jamie Jimmy. So here they are signing autographs. Uh, our JBTV uh, 35 years at Riot Fest on the 15th anniversary, so this is pretty cool. So how are you doing translating and stuff? Are you having fun? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is just truly, truly an amazing band. So Lauren, isn't this exciting? We're now wandering. With my new favorite band. I know. We don't get to do this very often, but this no. is JBTV, you know, yeah. totally unscripted and crazy. We're, we're already best friends. This band has really unique instruments, too. Things yeah. that I've never seen before. We hope you feel welcome here, because we fun. want you to come back a lot. Music transcends language barriers. Who, 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 They come from a land far, far away. With traditional Mongolian instrumentation, they were formed in the year 2016, and now, in the year 2019, they are taking the USA and Chicago by storm at Riot Fest 2019. We bow to you guys. <laughs> Can I please just say that you are my new favorite band? Oh my gosh, I am a huge fan. And what's so cool was it started out with a few people at the stage, and then they just you just kept getting more and more people because you guys know how to rock and roll. We play uh, Hindu rock, and this is the genre we come up with. We're not like anybody else. We want to be ourselves. And this genre is Hunnu Rock, and we chose this uh, symbol. It's, it's like a uh, one horned uh, snow leopard, which was revered by our ancestors, Hunnus, also known as Hans in the Western world. <laughs> What the audiences are like in Mongolia when this band was first starting? Did they were they really embraced? Uh, of course, you know, like our countryman is just uh, behind us, supporting us uh, from the beginning, and always there for us. And we're so honored uh, to have such fans. What is the music scene like in Mongolia? Are there a lot of bands? So uh, yes, of course, you know, like uh, it's 21st century. You know, everything is, uh, you know, everybody can listen to anybody, and we got every uh, genres of music, bands, and everything going on. And, you know, just to, for example, you know, we're coming out of from Mongolia, you can tell, you know, how Mongolian music scene is going on. Yeah? Yeah. Can you share with us some of your favorite Mongolian bands? When it comes to rock, you know, there's like a, a, a we uh, uh, grown up listen to these bands, you know, Harang, or they're like crazy rock bands out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you, how is, um, do you get American music? Uh, like, were they growing up on any American bands that are maybe are here this weekend at Riot Fest? Much of them are here at Nirjokhar and Slipknot, Stale, Sepultura, Pantera, Foo Fighters, Tool, Symptom of Down, Korn, Merlin Manson. So, they do that. I think everyone should do their own chant when they walk into a room. American fans are just uh, amazing, you know, we're just uh, so honored and uh, the full concert is going to be amazing here. That was your stage right there. Amazing. And people were running to get in to hear you guys. It was just a great. It's what is the difference between a full The Who show compared to what we saw here today at Rock? Okay, we're here uh, at the Rock Festival. You know, we're uh, mostly played the uh, out more faster, energetic songs. A lot of songs, you know, just the Mongolian traditional uh, Taylor style. <laughs> You 
are speaking such good English. Oh, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, you're doing really good. Yeah. You've been a great translator for them. Thank you Do you very think much. they're going to pick up uh, more English now that yeah, they're in America? You know, uh, they've been getting better, you know, like, uh, ever since we started the tour, you know, now they're just uh, actually communicating with the uh, crew. Was that oh, yeah. fun? Do they have fun? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, we love you guys, and we can't wait to have you back in America. Thank you. It's going to be so exciting. So here we are at Ride Fest 2019. This is day number two with The Who. What an amazing band. Check them out on tour all around the world, and especially right here in America. So thank you, Lauren, for being on uh, JVTV. And uh, listen to Lauren on 101 WKQX, the number one radio station right here in Chicago. And the best band right there, The Boom! Yeah, that's cool. I hope you enjoyed my new favorite band as much as I did. Uh, do not miss them when they come back to Chicago on Halloween. Jerry, thank you so much for having thank me. Thank you. It's fun roaming the crowd with you, Lauren. I know. Keep on rocking. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this has been a great edition of JVTV. I hope you've enjoyed Ignacen on the show. Jennifer Benson, you're amazing. And keep on spreading all those positive vibes that you spread. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate I'm it. I'm glad you had a good time. And uh, see, I'm sitting cross-legged here now, too. <laughs> Are you? All right. All right. Let's do this together <laughs> to end like, the show. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we got to figure out how to shut this stuff off, right? I know, right? Yeah, I got to figure this out, too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.